God our Father, you have brought us to the divine mercy that we will experience your great love. Teach us your children today, not only to experience love, but to be ready to share it with the world. For freely we have received, freely you call us to give. Make us your children who receive and give love and mercy into the world. Make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 And now listen to the gospel, the, the, the first reading for today, which is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 42 to 47. Acts 42 to 47. They devoted themselves to the teaching, teaching of the apostles and to the communal life, to the breaking of the bread, and to prayers, to the prayers. All came upon everyone, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their property and possessions and divide them among all according to each one's need. Every day, they devoted themselves to the meeting together in the temple area and to the breaking of the, and to breaking bread in their homes. They ate their meals with exaltation and sincerity of heart, praising God and enjoying favor with all the people. And every day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. Dearly beloved, the word of the Lord. Thanks be Amen. to God. God. Let us be quiet in a moment and reflect and think about the word that the Lord has given to us this morning. Arise, Catholic faithful, rejoice and renew. This morning, we are giving a reading from the Acts of the Apostles that set the tone for any believing Christian community. Acts chapter 2, verse 42 to 47, we are told, the disciples devoted themselves to the teaching of the apostles. That is the first thing they did. Two, they devoted themselves to the communal life. Three, they devoted themselves to the breaking of the bread. And four, they devoted themselves to prayers. During this time, this is what the church calls on us also to do to dedicate ourselves, to devote ourselves, to consecrate ourselves, to, to, to give up ourselves to the teachings of the apostles. Number one, to the teachings of the apostles. Today, there are so many teachings that are bound. And if you do not take care, you will just flow with anything that goes by the name gospel even with songs, just because you hear the name of God in it, it means that it is supposed to be a gospel. But the rhythm itself, you have to ask yourself. So we have to 
desire authentic teachings of the apostles. And without the Holy Spirit to enlighten us, we would not know the authentic teaching of the apostles. So today, Divine Mercy Sunday, God is giving us the opportunity that yes, we will know the authentic teaching of the apostles and not be lost. Number two, to the communal life, to the life together. Even though we are locked down, we have not been told not to be in union with each other in faith. That is why we are even meeting online today to pray. So, are we together? But how can you love somebody who is very far from you? Who is so many miles and kilometers away from you? When the person in your home, when the person you sleep on the same bed, when the person you sleep under the same roof, you do not love or have not said good morning looking at the person's face. When yesterday's argument is still in your heart today, communal life, God have mercy on us. Then they were devoted to the breaking of the bread. Very soon, after about at seven o'clock, we shall celebrate the Mass, and many of us may participate in it. Not only physically, but spiritually, you can eat of the bread of life. You can eat of the bread of life. Spiritually, it is the communion that gives us the food to be able to eat, as Elijah fed on the bread and he walked 40 days and 40 nights, so we also we will feed on the bread of life. Now it is spiritual, but very soon all of us can participate. Then you will appreciate, blessed are they called to the supper of the Lamb. Then you will be able to say, Lord, I am not worthy, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Now you can also say, Lord, I cannot come. I cannot come physically, but only say the word and my heart shall be filled. You know that, Lord, now we have to be at home. The last one, he says, and they were devoted to prayers. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, the only thing that we can do so strongly in this period of lockdown is prayers. Every morning, no matter what you are doing, Leave this 30 minutes aside and let us share it and devote it to God. I know God will bless us and he will not abandon us. We serve a living God and he will bless us. May the Lord bless you this morning so that you will know that yes, we have served a living God. We have served a living God. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us from his throne in heaven with mercy. He who is God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us live in the love of God now and forevermore. Amen. 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 We have a beautiful day.